Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your weekly underground live preview of new comic book day at Green Brain Comics. <laughs> we're, we're apparently pantomiming swimming underwater. I'm in a box. I'm pulling a rope. I was going, I'm going to like Tai Chi. <laughs> tai Chi. Like Shay's a little sore. She just started her MMA training this week. <laughs> oh, oh. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Chair, tables, chairs. <laughs> but we've got a lot of great new comics to preview for you this week. We'll start out here at the counter where we got a couple of free things, a couple of this and that things. Yeah, we got a. Yeah, we got this. Awesome new Marvel Spotlight. Let's, let's hey, introduce up? ourselves first. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Stream Brain Comics. I am Katie. And I'm Shay. And together, we're going to be showing you a tour of all the new comics hitting the shelves for tomorrow, Wednesday, July 17th. So stay tuned, because we got lots of cool comics to show you. Let's do it. Jumping in, starting with, as Dan mentioned, some free stuff. Yeah, and including the free stuff, we have a Fantastic Four number one free spotlight. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. It's got previews of Fantastic Four and a bunch of other new stuff that Marvel's doing. And it's free. Free for you. The best ye. price there is. <laughs> it's free. It's for me. <laughs> and we've got uh, a we bunch oh, of new variants. Oh, look at all the variants. Look at that. Yeah. We've got the life of Captain Marvel with a beautiful Fiona Staples cover. <gasps> Fiona! Nice. Nice. And also just as beautiful, Asana Takeda cover. And then we have Tony Stark Iron Man. I'm not sure who did this one. That's Mark Brooks. Mark Brooks cover. Nice. And then we have a Star Trek The Next Generation, Terra Incognita. Oh, and then we have some empty spots. Where are those? We got some empty spots. Uh, that's going to be for some of those highly speculated upon comics that we're going to make. Uh, limit one per person. Uh, and ooh, look, we uh, we got this Cheryl Blossom pop. Because, you know, <laughs> random pop. Great super pops. Cute. Super hot. Nice. Yeah. Super hot. Random pop. Super hot. Random pop. Cool. <laughs> Bye. Now let's check out the new comics on the new shelf. Yeah, without further ado. Let's DC. <laughs> <laughs> let's I guess over I'll start there. with DC. Um, Batgirl. And the Birds of Prey Volume 3, trade paperback. Ooh, a new series, Archie meets Batman 66. With a whole holy, bunch of new covers. Holy crossover event. Ooh. Ooh, sock kapow. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That's so weird saying those two things together. Awesome. Super fun. Oh, Eddie just chimed in and said, hey, Green Brain, I'm in North Carolina working. Hey, what? Eddie. Hey. Hey. Thanks for From tuning North in. Carolina. Glad Enjoy we can North... make you feel at home. Enjoy North Carolina. Uh, moving on to Batman number 51, Cold Days Part 1. We'll check out this new cover. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like his, he has like a mustache or like a beard or something, like peach fuzz. <laughs> Batman and Robin Adventures, Volume 3, and Batman Sins of the Father, number 6 of 6. Also, let's not forget on our top shelf, Cave Carson has an interstellar eye. And this guy's playing guitar. <laughs> Number five. Rock and roll, interstellar eye. Nice. Brave and the Bold, six of six. Batwoman, number 17. Look at this beautiful Michael Cho cover. I love all these Michael Cho covers. And also, the regular cover's not so bad either. Oh, that's nice. Amazing. You know, they just announced that Batwoman's in development for some type of movie or TV treatment, as is Batgirl and the Birds of Prey. So, nice. Those are some things to check out. Damage, number seven. Flash, number 47, second print. Sorry. Damage, damage if, if he, he don't. don't. Yeah. Oh, oh. Dam damned if he do, damage, damage if he don't. don't. Oh, womp, womp. Cover dad jokes. <laughs> Cover dad oh, jokes. The Flash, volume five by Jeff Johns. Green Lanterns, number 51. Harley Quinn, number 46. Injustice, number two. Oh, there's also a cool um, 
the other Cho, Frank Cho. Do you have anything metallic in your pockets? <laughs> she doesn't even have any pockets. Yeah, nope, none. <laughs> Injustice versus Masters of the Universe, number one. Here's oh. another one of those fun crossovers. Oh, look at um. Oh, he looks he's so sad. He's all broody. Masters of the Universe guy that I can't remember his name. Chuck. It is not. Justice League number four. With this cool Wonder Woman cover. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jim Lee. Oh. Wow. That's good. New Challengers, three of six. Titans, the Lazarus Contract trade paperback. This trade paperback collects um, the Lazarus Contract crossover that jumped around to do a bunch of different books. Mm -hmm. You know a lot about the releases this week, Katie. Ha <laughs> I, I know a lot about releases every week, Dan. The Wild Storm, number 15. That looks kind of crazy. Yeah, and this is Slayton. <laughs> Slayton. Uh, Paul and Mark Beauchamp said, hey, everyone. Hey! Wildstorm Michael Cray trade paperback. And <laughs> Future Quest presents number 12. With uh, oh. Frankenstein Jr. <gasps> Frankenstein Jr. That's cover. That's awesome. That is pretty darn cool. Fun. Awesome. Sweet. Hooray. That now, wraps up moving the over to shelf. the Marvel shelf. We've got Marvel books. Week. Let's see what kind of books we have. Avengers number 5. Cable 159, The Life of Captain Marvel, <gasps> number one. Yay! And look at these beautiful covers. Ooh. Pretty art germ cover. Love it. It's I love the hair. Tune. Yes. And we got lots of those art germ covers, too. Marvel did the smart thing and made it open order. Yay! Great. Falcon, take flight. True Believers Fantastic Four, number one. True Believers number one of Fantastic Four by Walter Simonson. Oh, this one is by John Byrne. Another Fantastic Four True Believers number this, one. This one features the coming of Herbie. <laughs> but where he's not what he seems to be. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, just a note I did restock a bunch of the True Believers Whoa, Fantastic look at Four. Look that. Because people were digging them so much. Yay. Classic Fantastic Four Bronze Age comics. For a Bronze Age price at a buck. Because you demanded it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. <laughs> the Immortal Hulk, number three. Infinity Countdown, number five of five. Tony Stark, Iron Man, number two. Marvel Superhero Adventures, Miss Marvel and the Teleporting Dog. I wonder what that dog's name is. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> On our top shelf, we have Old Man Hawkeye, number seven of 12. Oh, he doesn't look oh, so good. He got uh -oh. He spilled some raspberry jam on the ground. Uh oh. Oh, he you fell down on his can of beans. Oh, me. <laughs> Marvel 2 and 1, The Thing and the Human Torch trade paperback. Fate of the Four. Miss Marvel, Volume 9, Teenage Wasteland. It's all the teenage wasteland. Brown, <laughs> brown. <laughs> Spider Man Deadpool, Volume 6, WLMD. Wonder what that stands for. Mm. What would Deadpool do? No. Craig <laughs> <laughs> Yo says Green Brain blows his little mind. Oh! You got a big mind, Craig. <laughs> You're a big, big man. <laughs> Aww. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man 307, coming home. We got a Thor, number three, up in the house. <laughs> yes. oh, I love that cover. Uh, Look how beautiful that so cover good. is. And the art is so, it's just as good. It's awesome. Weapon H, number five. Hunt for Wolverine, The Claws of a Killer, number three of four. I wonder when they're going to find him. <laughs> They've been hunting for him for so long. Wow. X-Men Gold, number 32. And X-Men Red, number 6. So much great stuff coming out from Marvel this week. Yay. Make sure to hit the store tomorrow at 10 a.m. Be first in line. And we got lots more stuff over in the YA section. Oh. Hooray. We got Star Wars, number 51. Ah. Star Wars Darth Vader Annual, number 2. 
Star Wars Poe Dameron, number 29. Who is Poe Dameron? Um, I think he's like a guy in Star Wars. Oh. Is that <laughs> Kevin Smith on the cover? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that one dad guy. Um, Buddy and Veronica Vixens, 8 of 10. Only two issues left. Wow. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Only two Season issues Season 12, left. The Reckoning, 2 of 4. By Night, 2 of 12. One of Shay's picks. One of Shay's picks. This is that new series by John Allison. Yes, of Giant Days fame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fence, number eight. Flavor, number three. Mm, That's making me hungry. (laughs) (laughs) These comics are making me hungry. (laughs) Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 29. And Star Trek, the next generation, Terra Incognita. Number one. Wrapping up the YA periodical shelf, WWE number 19. Ooh. It's going to be a cage match. Chair, <laughs> smash, tables. Tables, chairs, and table. What? Table smashing? Chairs, tables, and what was it? Ladders. 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 Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, ladders, tables, and chairs. Oh, my. <laughs> We got something yes. over here in the graphic novel section. Look, a new fruit basket series. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's another fruit basket series. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. This one does not follow Toru and her friends. It's a, a whole nother thing. So check it out because fruit basket is awesome. Hooray for fruit basket. <laughs> uh, Edie Rosa Montana. Just gave it the thumbs up. Or no, that's more of a wave, isn't it? Is he waving? We'll yeah. wave back. Hi. Oh, is it like <laughs> the little... Because now there's the little wave thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, or a high five. There's some waving, some high fiving. We'll give you all of that. There's some <laughs> uh, emojis going on. And some kids' comics. We've got Betty and Veronica, Friends Forever, number two. Number one. Number huh? one, number two. Wait, what? Number one is... Oh, it's number one of Friends Forever Travel, Travel Tales. Tales. Yes. It's number, yeah, that's, okay, that's why I was all confused. Oh, yeah. It's very confusing. <laughs> it is confusing. Futurama uh. Comics Annual Number One. Ooh. Two big stories. Rock goes modern life in a tree paperback. <laughs> Rock goes modern awesome. life. <laughs> Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Number Zero. Wow, look at that style. So new. Hey, we're getting all kinds of highs. Well, hello. Uh, Everyone's waving at Michael us. Michael Leon says, hey, all. Dan hey. Wickett says, excellent job as always. Oh, thanks. Right back at you, Dan. <laughs> oh, we've got more stuff on the bottom. We have Fraggle Rock number three. By Alt Bar- Art Baltazar. <gasps> nice. Nice. Uh, creator Super or cute. one of the creators on Teen Titans. No, Tiny, Tiny Titans. Tiny Titans. Right. Nice. And all those, like, little... Little spin-offs. Little spin-offs. We've got Miraculous, The Adventures of Ladybug and Cat Noir, number five. Speaking of Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go! Special Edition, number one. Oh my gosh, I don't think you guys understand. It's, I'm actually pretty excited for the movie. It's Teen Titans Go, go to, to the Movies! <laughs> and Teen Titans Go to the Movies for just one dollar! One dollar! Oh, nice! Awesome! So cool! Excellent. Well, that yeah. wraps up this side of the store. We're yeah. going to head on over to our event board to let you guys know what's coming up next at Green Bay Comics. Yeah! We've got stuff happening. Oh, Woo. All the time. <laughs> Woo. Open Gaming is always on the second Saturday of the month, and the next one is going to be Saturday, August 11th. We just had our event last Saturday, and a bunch of people came out and played some games, and it was super fun. Yay. Join us next time. Mm-hmm. Coming up on next month's Brain Candy Festival. <laughs> I believe it's August 20th. Which will be on August 20th. Um, always on the third Monday of the month from 7 to 9. It's a free evening of live music, um, poetry readings, prose readings, and art. And enjoy some culture. Nice. Culture. culture. The last one was just last night. And it was super fun. And we had a bunch of people come out. And it was a great time. Yay. Hey, hold on a second. I'm not getting a connection. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can get a connection over here. 
I think this chimney blocks it. Oh. Um, we connect already. All right, we're back live, I believe. Hey, we're back. Hey. <laughs> and uh, speaking of these great two events, thanks everybody that came out over the last weekend to support not only our open tabletop games, we had a couple of tables of gamers going on, but also just last night we had our third monthly mm -hmm. brain candy. Uh, the talent was awesome. The crowd was packed, and uh, we ha all had a good time. And uh, thanks again to the aforementioned Dan Wickett for booking all that incredible talent. Great uh, job, Dan. And again, that's we're going to do the fourth one coming up August 20th. August 20th. Oh, <laughs> excellent. But coming up in just about a week and a half on wow. Saturday, July 28th, uh, oh. I think. <laughs> whatever, whatever the following Saturday is. It's yeah. a Saturday um, from 7 to 9 is our annual girl party, our special ladies night at Green Rain Comics. And this is also going to be from 7 to 9 p.m. And we're going to have crafts and snacks Yum. and special um fundraising raffle for comic con and just all kinds of cool fun stuff so come out and meet a bunch of new um gal pals yeah other ladies who are fans of comics awesome. all are welcome it's an all ages event and yeah. it's usually one of our biggest attended events too <laughs> it's huge who knew girls love comics and ladies oh, and women i didn't know and all fans <laughs> Now moseying on over to our action adventure shelf, we have analog number four. Aphrodite V. Five, four? I'm not sure. I'm not very good with Roman numerals. It is a five as a Roman numeral, cool. if that's what it means. Unless it's just V, but probably five. Number one. <laughs> Black AF, Widows and Orphans, number two. Clan Killers, number one. Days of Hate Trade Paperback. Deathbed number six of six. Dry County number five of five. East of West number 38. And on our top shelf, we have Bad Girls by Alex DeCampi and Victor Santos. Alex DeCampi of uh, other comics that she's written. <laughs> Good save. Good save. Um, <laughs> Victor Santos did that Violent Love. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's what But Alex Ducampi did um, that spy book that I was reading. Mayday? I, Mayday, yes. Also, No Mercy. Yes. And the uh, pretty awesome Archie vs. Predator. Yes. Wow. <laughs> she also was a guest at Comic Con the first year. Very cool. She's up to a lot. <laughs> we have the Beef Tainted Love, a biochemical romance collected for the first time. Whoop whoop, volume one. And Brooklyn Blonde Trade Paperback. We also have Ether, the Copper Golems, Euthanauts, number one, a Black Crown, first one. Evolution, number eight. Gideon Falls, number five. That's a really cool cover. Who did it? That's Scotty Young. Cool, that's oh, awesome. Of course. And the that's... other cover is series artist Andrea Sorrentino. It's kind of ironic for him to do a cover like that. It's really interesting because it's a very scary comic. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Very intense. But very cute. I like it. God Complex, Dogma, Dogma. book one. My God Complex is Dogma ran over my catma. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Cream Man, number five. Oh, uh-oh. He's falling. Uh -oh. Oh, boy. Where's he going? <laughs> Let's cross over with uh, Mad Men. <laughs> Infidel, number five. Ooh, that looks really creepy. Ooh, that's got a weird B cover, too. That's yeah, Jeff Lemire, that's right. Oh. So Big Jeff creepy. Lemire week. Jughead the Hunger, volume one. Jughead the Hunger, number seven. Uh, oh, Tyler you... Boss cover too. Pretty Catch awesome. up on all your Jughead the Hunger in one spell. So swoop. much Jughead. And on our top shelf we have <gasps> Curse Words. Look, it's Curse Words. Nice. Volume 3. And we also have 1 and 2 if you want to catch up. This book is so fun. Crazy. 
Also, we have Ghost Money in Hardcover, Death in Dubai, Omnibus. Super beautiful book. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very substantial, too. Back down, we have Kick-Ass number six. Oh, sh it's Kim and Kim! <laughs> <laughs> number one. <laughs> the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Volume 3, Century by Alan Moore. First time in softcover. Nice. Yeah. To accompany last week's. So good. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, The Tempest, which I thought was pretty intense. Awesome. Super digged it. It was really good. Digged it. Also, The Lost City Explorers, number two. Low Lives, number two. May, number two. The Hero Denied Mage, number 10 of 15, by Matt Wagner. The Magic Order, number two of six, by Mark Miller. Millar Miller. Not Let's sure. go with Miller. Miller. <laughs> the Maw, number one. Ninja K, number nine. And on our top shelf... Ooh, it's a crowded top shelf this week. Ooh, we have G.I. Joe versus the Six Million Dollar Man. <laughs> it's funny, little joke. <laughs> Gregory Graves, book one, interview with the supervillain. I want to point out that this is written by Dan Harmon. Oh, cool! That's awesome. Nice. Also, we have Heartthrob, Volume 2. <gasps> that book is good. And Hellboy, Omnibus, Volume 3, The Wild Hunt. As well as Grant Morrison's Invisibles, Volume 3. This is actually Book 3. <gasps> yes. So this good. Book is so good. I know <laughs> that it's been out for a while. This isn't, like, new material, but I'll tell you what. This book is so good. <laughs> this is Grant Morrison at his psych. Gadelicist. And it's never going to get made into a movie, so people just buy the comic. They already tried. It was called The Matrix. Oh. <laughs> and guess what? Read the book. It's better. <laughs> Back down, we have Proxima Centauri, number two of six. Six. There we go. Quantum and Woody, number eight. Another one of those weird, shiny covers. Oh, with the ah. skeleton on it. Whoa. Skeleton. Whoa. So trippy. It's like a disco skeleton. And just in time for Philip Little to chime in. <laughs> Stay valiant! Stay valiant! <laughs> Royal City, number 12. Yes! I think this might be the end of Royal City. No! Oh. They did kind of wrap it up. Or they were working towards wrapping yeah, it up? I was thinking about it. Definitely that. coming up soon. We have Shadow Man, Fear of the Dark trade paperback. More Shadow Man, we have number 5. Dead and Gone, Part 2. Sherlock Holmes, The Vanishing Man, Number 3. Skyward, Number 4. Soulfire, Number 1. And on the top shelf we have... Rome West. Co-written by Brian Wood. Oh, no, no. Brian Moody. Cool. Hey. Also, The Shaolin hey. Cowboy, Star Trek. <gasps> So when I was looking at this, I thought it was Star Trek and Shaolin Cowboy. Cause it's like just, crossover? Yeah. It's, yeah, I thought it was a crossover. Like... I'm pretty sure this is the material that was originally put out by Burly Man. Uh, the, the imprint from oh, like 10 plus years ago that um, preceded the, uh, the other stuff that's more recent. Uh, this stuff is so beautiful. Beauty, awesome. beautiful. Crazy. Jeff Durrell, Crazy. that pencil art just drives me insane. We have Shipwreck, trade paperback. And more comics, we have Stellar, number two. Swashbucklers, the saga continues, number four. I like this cat with the sword. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Thrilling Adventure Hour, number one. Twelve Devils Dancing, number one. This is three issues of one. Wow. It's oh, a wow. pretty thick book, and it's featuring art from... Uh, Detroit local Dave Acosta. Nice. Awesome. We have Versus, number five. The Weatherman, number two. Witchfinder, number three. And on our top shelf, to wrap up our action adventure shelf, we have The Spider King collected for the first time in trade paperback. Woo! There's a lot of action and adventure in that book. The Witch Spider King! Yeah. It's very pretty. Awesome. Very pretty. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Wrapping it up on our indie graphic novel shelf, we now have, again for the first time, Adventure Zone. Here there be gerblins. <laughs> now that it's officially 
the release date of this book. We have also moved it over into our graphic novel uh, section out of the youth section because uh, we were advised that that is not where it belongs. <laughs> uh, Apollo graphic novel. There's an astronaut on the cover. Hmm. That's from last week. Dork? It's a comic book, you idiot. From Evan Dorkin, of course. <laughs> and of course. It's my pick of the week. Does this reprint like all of that? I'm pretty sure, yeah. All the dork single issues? Oh. Dull Margaret. This is a pretty wild book. From I just Jim it. Broadbent and Dix. Uh, oh, on the top shelf. Love Song. It's got a, like a Beatles motif going on here. And turtlenecks. Men and Cat. Turtlenecks. Octavia Butler, Kindred. Tra first time in soft cover. Mm. This has been out in hard cover before. Oops. Magical Girl, Special Ops, Asuka, Volume 3. Meta Barons, Techno Admiral in soft cover. Also. And the new Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide, Volume 48. Love that cover. Wow. With another cover. Check it out. It's got an Ethan Van Skyver Flash Green Lantern. Nice. I think there's also an American flag cover that we got over on the other display. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Also, six-figure crowdfunding. You're no BS guide to running a life-changing campaign hmm. in hardcover. Hmm. Up on the top shelf. Complete Peanuts, Volume 9, 1967 to 1968. And the book that may be my pick of the week. <laughs> Go Team <laughs> Venture! <laughs> the Art of Making the Venture Brothers. This has a breakdown of every episode from like sketches to character design nice. and storyboards and all kinds of cool stuff. And Venture Brothers is an amazing show and this is an amazing book. And I am very excited. To look at it. Awesome. Make it my pick of the week. So many cool and that books. That wraps up. That wraps up. Yeah. That wraps like it that up. Wraps up. That wraps up our tour of all the new comics. Thanks for joining us on Stream Brain Comics. Tune in for our live stream every Tuesday at 6:30 on Facebook, or much later on our YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, so that we stay in your feed, <laughs> and you never miss an episode. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. On Twitter, Green Brain CMX. We are spreading the love of comics and graphic novels since 1985 from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn. Feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. Happy Wednesday. Bye. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. <laughs>